Hello my dear students and viewers, welcome to my channel Scorpio class. In this video we are going to discuss the revised syllabus 2022 of class 8 geography chapter. We are going to discuss the question and answers of the chapter lithosphere. So this video is going to be very helpful for you all. So stay tuned till end and do not miss any part of it. And if you want all the other lessons, notes of sociology, history, political science and economics, you can visit the description box and find the playlist link. The link will also be shared in the i button above. You can watch all the videos of question and answers there. Now let's get started but before that if you're watching my video for the first time do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get the notification of all the upcoming videos. Now let's move ahead with the question answer session of this chapter and we have first main fill in the blanks with suitable words. First fill up. The continental crust is also called dash. Answer is Cial. The full form is silica and aluminium. Answer is Cial. The full form of this is silica and aluminium. Second, vast basin shaped volcanic mouth is dash caldera. Answer is caldera. The most destructive earthquake waves are dash. Answer is surface waves. Surface waves. Next, stalactites and stalagmites are most common in dash. Answer is underground water. Underground water. The beaches are formed by dash work. Waves work. Waves. Next main. Answer each of the following questions. The question number is continued as per your textbook. It's question number 6. Mention the three major layers of the interior of the earth. Answer. The three major layers of the interior of the earth is the crust, the mantle and the core. Next question. Name the types of volcanoes on the basis of frequency of eruption. Answer. On the basis of the frequency of eruption, volcanoes are classified into three types. They are active volcanoes, dormant volcanoes and extensive volcanoes. Next question number 8. Mention the important earthquake zones of the world. Answer. The important earthquake zones of the earth are of the world are the circum pacific belt that is the regions around the pacific ocean the mediterranean mediterranean belt that is the regions around the mediterranean sea the himalayan belt that is the siwalik regions of india so these are the important earthquake zones of the world next question what is weathering? Name the three main types of weathering. Answer. Weathering is the wearing away or breaking down or gradual disintegration of rocks by different agents present in the atmosphere. The three types of weathering are mechanical weathering, chemical weathering and biological weathering. Question number 10. Name the landforms associated with the work of river. Answer. The following are the landforms associated with the work or flow of the river. In the upper course of the river, gorges, canals, V-shaped valley, waterfalls are formed. In the middle course of the river, alluvial fans are formed. In the lower course, which is the last course of the river, flood plains and deltas are formed. Next main, match the following. So here you are having the correct answer in front of the questions. So 11th, SEMA, the correct answer is oceanic crust. 12th, sandstone, sedimentary rock. Epicenter, answer is earthquake. Geyser, answer is underground water. Loss, 
Answer is yellow soil. So answers are matched correctly to its questions here. So now let's move on to the next page. Define the following and question number is still continued as per your textbook. It's question number 16. Aqueous rocks. The sedimentary rocks are called aqueous rocks because they are formed in the water bodies which are deposited in the lakes, sea and ocean beds. Next, 17. Pacific Ring of Fire Coastal margins of the Pacific Ocean which are identified as frequent volcanic areas consisting of Philippines, Japan, USA, Central America, South America, etc. Okay, so these regions are called Pacific Ring of Fire. Next, 18. Mechanical weathering. When the rock is broken and disintegrated without any chemical reaction, the process is called physical weathering or mechanical weathering. The agents of mechanical weathering are wind, frost, temperature, etc. Next, carbonaceous rocks. These are organically formed sedimentary rocks. The accumulation of remains of organisms such as shells of marine organisms, remains of plants and animals are converted into limestone, coal, etc. Coal is the form of carbonaceous rock. So these are the few questions and let's continue ahead. Question number 20, Tsunami. Tsunami, large sea waves occasionally experienced along the coast of Japan and in other regions caused by an underwater earthquake. In the Japanese language, tsunami means harbor waves. Next, 21. Continental Glacier Continental Glacier is extensive ice sheets found in polar regions. Example, Greenland and Antarctica. Next, hot spring. The natural way of coming out of hot water from the underground is called hot spring. They are also called the thermal spring. They are usually found near the volcanic regions. So students, with this few question and answers and four mains, we have come to an end with the notes of this chapter. I hope this answers were helpful for you all. The video was helpful and if you like the video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel, swap your class and stay tuned for more such videos. Thank you.